Hi guys, Ty here with the Beauty Booth and I'm going to be using our Unreveal Clear Lace Glue and our Lace Beige Protector to install. As you can see, I've clearly been using them to install this 13 by 6 transparent 150 density front lace wig it's a straight wig very thick the hair quality is so super light and before we get fully started just want to say excuse any noise that my kids make in the background i will not own the copyrights to that noise and also be sure to check out so also be sure to check out our lip balm it comes in three different flavors this one is honey we have watermelon and we have vanilla in stock watermelon and vanilla is almost gone we still have lots of honey look at that okay so first I'm going to be use I'm gonna be spraying down this um wig cap so it of course can adhere to my hair and hairline. I'm not using um what's that um the freeze, the little yellow can, the I'm not using that, I'm using the different kind of spritz that I use in my hair. So and this actually works a lot better than the got to be glue that's what it's called this works a lot better than it got to be glue and it stays a lot longer i like to spray it for the back of my actual hairline so it actually sticks and saturates and as you know we're going to be cutting this stuff off don't worry about all that dripping right there. It's going to get cut off anyway. And I have my alcohol and my cotton um, my cotton balls to clean up afterwards. So I'm going to cut a blow dryer on. So, of course, you know it's going to be really loud. Excuse the noise. Okay, so that was the first layer I'm gonna go through and as you see it's already dry and starting to get hard I'm gonna apply a second layer just to make sure that it stays and yes I saturated really well to make sure that it dries and it stays because with our um unrevealed clear lace glue it'll keep your frontal on for about almost five weeks if not longer
as you guys can see my hairline where it needs to be dried is definitely dry so now i'm going to cut off that excess cap so i got cotton on my scissors i'm gonna cut off that excess lace i mean cap from the stocking cap As you can see, it does hold very well, and I will be um, the parts at the ends, of course, like right here, the edges. I'm going to be taking the glue to uh, make sure I get it to um, be smooth, to have a nice um. And you just want to cut around your hairline as much as possible to make it look as natural as possible for where your wig is going to lay. My hairline, of course, kind of goes, so I'm doing that as well with the cap. Next, I'm going to take my alcohol and make sure I get any of the spritz and um, any of the grease or dirt off of my skin right here. I do not have a wooden stick tonight. It sucks to apply the glue, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So now I'm gonna go in with my lace base, and this is non toxic. It provides just an extra layer of protection on your skin and your hairline. So your um so your edges won't come out, so your skin is protected and you won't have that big tan right here whenever you do decide to take your um your front or your full lace off. Um it just like I said, it's just an extra skin protectant. You know, sometimes when uh lace isn't per I guess um installed properly, it could damage your skin right here or it actually makes your hairline recede sometimes and this just protects it from not doing it. So I'm just gonna go through and spray it. my hairline where my skin is at right here you don't want to spray a lot a little goes a long way and you can do one or two layers doesn't matter and don't be afraid to come down a little bit further to make sure you're secure in this area real good because you can always wipe it off, you know, as, as much as you need to with the actual um, alcohol and cotton ball. So I'm going to let it dry. As you can see, you can still kind of see 
Well, you can kind of tell where the lace base was applied. That little air for protection, that barrier protection. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit more, a second layer. A second layer. And my nails are not done, guys. I had a, a horrible nail job done. The technician made the glitter so chunky and it messed my nails up, thinned it out. And now I have to let my nails regrow. They are horrible right now. I'm not doing nothing to my nails right now until they get back healthy. So now I'm gonna go through with our the beauty booth unrevealed extreme hole lace adhesive. It is clear. It does have a smell to it for um, the water protectant agent that's inside of it, but it is non-toxic. So even though it has a smell, it's non-toxic. You can Google the ingredients when you receive it and do your own, your own research, but. Like I said, it does have a smell, but it is still non-toxic, and it works extremely well. Let me try to get some of this off the um, top. Just my last use. Make sure it's going to come out, and it is. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through and apply, apply a little at a time. Cause you don't need much and i'm just gonna do this first layer to kind of um make sure the edges of the cap are in place and this is where your wooden stick will come in perfect handy because it doesn't really it doesn't stick to the wooden stick like it does this plastic So always use a wooden stick when using any type of adhesive. It just, it just helps lay it a lot even, makes it more even when you lay it. And I'm not going to do right here because my actual hair is right there and it's not covered and I don't want my edges to come out. So I'm not going to do that part. I'm just going to make sure, of course, that I um, make sure the lace comes above it. So I don't mess my edges up because they have grown back since, um, since I started my hair little company with my hair growth on and stuff. So we've achieved edges, guys. We have edges now and I don't want to mess them up. This glue reminds me of the old school glue back in the day when laces first became popular and that little brush you had with the clear glue to help keep it down. And we know that that glue lay laces, guys. And this is what this glue kind of is like. It's similar to that. And it lays. It lays. Now I've got this on my edges, but our um, unreveal. Glue remover, adhesive remover will protect my edges from coming out. So I'm just going to lay this piece down right here a little bit. Make sure it's coming out. There we go. Make sure it's coming out. And this is not something that you guys want to rush. I'm going to make sure you're taking your time doing this. 
I wish I had a wooden brush so bad. I'm gonna make sure you're taking your time doing this. Okay, so now we're just going to let this dry. As you guys can see, it does dry on clear. I'm trying to light this kind of off. It does dry on clear and it's tacky, so I'm gonna go through and um. Well, first, I'm gonna get my wig. I want to make sure that it's gonna sit exactly how I want it to sit before I put the glue on my um hairline. So um, make it stay. And this does have baby hair, so. Look at this hair, guys. Look how full of life and how light the hair is. This is from our Front Lace Wig Collection. We have some really bomb hair. So if you haven't tried our hair yet, please stop sleeping on us and order from the beauty booth because we are legit and you will not be disappointed with your hair purchase. I promise you, you won't. We have five star reviews, and those reviews are from actual customers who have ordered our products, tried our products, tested our products, and I promise you will love them as well. Our bundles in hair last up to three years, come straight from Vietnam or Cambodia, depending on wherever you're ordering. Come straight from Indonesia if you're ordering, if you're ordering our Indonesian hair. I'm just cutting the bottom of this lace off. Because I have not actually worn, worn this wig. This is my first time just wearing it. I, I have taken pictures of it. And I have taken pictures with it on. But um, I haven't actually like worn it, worn it. So before I slide this on all the way. Or just gets in there. Let me see. Let's make sure that is how I want it to be. I'm gleaming this glue. It'll be bad. So they say. Yeah, right here. I'm just gonna pull this back like this. Hope it don't fall off. I know this looks weird, guys, but I don't want to have my clips. I don't want um, it to be uneven when I'm applying it, or I don't put it on properly if I don't do this. So now I'm just gonna take the glue and apply my first layer. glue i'm gonna do two layers if you want your wig to last which is that glue on for about five to six weeks i suggest doing three layers in sections of course and use a wooden stick so it smooths it out really evenly i don't have any right now once again and i'm going to use my mirror not my phone to apply this application you do not need much like the amount I have on here right now is probably enough for my whole hairline. So I'm just 
I'm gonna take this and start to smooth it out. You know, if you come down too far with the glue and you have our um, remover, all you got to do is take a Q-tip, apply it to the remover, and just rub where you want the glue to come off and it's going to come right off. So if you put too much glue and you have our remover, it's going to take that glue right up. So you don't have to worry about it staying right there or nothing. It's going to come right up, I promise you. I don't have no Q-tips with me, but I will get Q-tips when it's time for me to um, remove the excess glue that I have. This side and do too well. I'm bringing down that cap, but it's gonna be okay. My edge is gonna be protected. And when I remove it, I'm gonna use glue, so it's gonna um, come up without a problem. It's gonna literally fly right up as I showed you guys before. And it's drying on clear as you can see. Clear coat. It is definitely tacky. I can feel it. I can tell, I can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the second layer. I'm gonna apply it in dropper stone. So don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. Like you really don't need to lie at all. And remember, a wooden stick is going to be your best friend. I promise you guys, you use a wooden stick. This glue adheres to plastic. It can be removed, but a wooden stick is going to be your best friend. And it's just gonna help make the application a lot smoother when applying your frontal or your full lace, whatever you're applying. And you see this thing, it, this thing sticks. Like it sticks. I'm gonna do that though, cause it's gonna mess up my glue. So the little hairs that got stuck in there, I'm actually gonna pluck them out. Cause I don't want that glue stuck in my hair. And keep in mind, I pluck these out. They're not shedding. I pluck them out. Cause I don't want the glue to get stuck to under hairs. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go So as you can see, this has dried on clear. So 
and we'll just add the one. It's dry and going clear. Maybe a little bit. Okay, you guys can see. It is extremely tacky. It is clear. It's extremely tacky. But as you can see, it's clear. So now I'm going to go through and apply the front lace in sections. Hold one second. So I'm gonna go through and make sure I pull this. Turn the glue. As you guys see, these things stick very well. So wherever you lay that, it's gonna stay at. So do it in sections when you start to lay this part. Definitely recommend you do it in sections, do it in sections, do it in sections. And use clips. My baby is being supervised. She is back there with her father so she's not crying. I don't want you guys. I don't want you guys to think that I'm ignoring her. She is being supervised. talking mama I want my clips when I need them. Y'all see how good his hair is? He just keep coming to the front. <laughs> but as you see that you do have some time to adjust your lace before it completely adheres to your scalp. You have some time to make that adjustment. Sticking and I'm making my way around to make sure the lace is nice and tight. Yeah, this hair is like it's extremely, extremely good. Talk about some good hair. Like I can't even keep it in place while I try to lay it. This is why I need my clips. <laughs> oh Lord. 
I wasn't ready, y'all. I wasn't ready. But I promise y'all we got some good hair. I've been trying to, okay, it would look better this way. Let's see. Yep. 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 Like I said, this takes time. It is nothing to be rushed. If you want your frontals or you want your meltdown to look natural and be on point, this is nothing to be rushed. So it's, it takes some adjustments. It takes some time to get it to here and be exactly where you want it to match your hairline. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. I'm using the mirror right here. So I can see what I'm doing. I'm not using the phone. And guys, do not be afraid to cut your lace. Like right here, you see where it's, it's too long. Don't be afraid to cut your lace so that it matches your hairline and by your temple. So it's natural. Don't be afraid to cut that part. That part needs to be cut to fit you perfectly. And as you guys can tell, this wig is not um, pre plucks. This, this hair is so silky. It's not letting me do what I need to do. Hair is so silky. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut this lace right here in a second by my earlobe so it fits my hairline. And then go through and make my things to make my adjustments. So now I need to cut. On this. Just a little bit more. If you guys have hair in your little hairline, make sure you pluck those hairs out because you don't want them to be stuck in glue. I need to add a little bit more glue right here. I promise you, this is when your wooden sticks would come in handy, guys. So wooden sticks, wooden sticks, wooden sticks. They are your best friend whenever you are applying. 
your frontals, wooden sticks. And once again, do not rush this process. It takes time. And if you get any access glue anywhere, remember our full edge um, reveal adhesive remover will remove that easily without you lifting your whole lace up. And if you have one of those little um metal tip rat tail cones, that's the best thing to do to use to press your the edges of your lace down so it stays. It's the best thing to use. If you don't, I'm using the makeup brush right now, the tip of it because it's like kind of plastic, but it's still working as well. This hairline is not plucked, but I will pluck it. And if you miss some of the spots, like right here, you see it's kind of coming up, you just take a little glue and apply it right there. My baby does not want to go to sleep. She slept most of the day and she is like wide awake. She is live at five. So I'm going to go through right here. You should see like it's lifting up. And just apply a little like drops people like drops see how this is dragging across like that's good and just spread it through spread it spread it spread it so that it's gonna lay I'm only going to do one layer right here because I already did a layer prior. And then you're just going to go through. So I used it to apply the glue, wipe that glue off with the alcohol, and use it to press the lace down to my skin. And you see right here where I have the extra glue at, I'm going to take a Q-tip and um use my adhesive remover to remove that glue. You don't want to press in it too much or play in it because it, it'll just spread and it'll get real bad. all the way around to make sure yeah to make sure that um like you see right here it's lifted to make sure that the lace is actually bonded to my skin this would work so much better if I would have did it in a restroom I decided to do that on my desk. And 
me clean this up real quick. But I want the blues to start um, stretching. A clean top also ensures a good application, a smooth application. And I'm just going to go through, of course, again and pluck these hairs. Just look back the hairs that um, are in the way. That's a little, probably a little bit too much. Right there. Just smooth it out. And any excess glue, excess glue, you can remove with a Q-tip with our adhesive remover. Remover. But look how I got it on clear though, guys. Like this is excess glue that I'm gonna remove with the with the remover or whatever. Oh, it's cotton actually. Guys, yeah, it's cotton. I gotta remove it with that alcohol. But look how I dry it on clear though. Excess glue remove. Let me fix that. Leave it in drops all you need. Okay, now before I get my adhesive adhesive remover removal ah, getting tongue twisted before I get my um, full edge adhesive removal spray and I have to go get a q-tip because I didn't bring one we're gonna do a pool test guys Like my skin is moving. This wig ain't going nowhere. This wig ain't going nowhere. And I'm pulling. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. 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 This wig ain't going nowhere, guys. 
It's not going nowhere. It ain't looking. So now I'm gonna go get a Q tip so I can remove like this right here. That cotton I gotta get out of my hairline. Um right here I gotta get some glue out of my hairline. So I'm right back. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So girl, guys, girl, look at look how silky y'all. Like what? Like who? Like I I look like a totally different person than what I looked like before I came on camera. Like like huh? You said something? You said something? Yes. Silky. Lots of body and this bitch moves. This bitch swings, guys. Stop sleeping on my hair, guys. So, this is our Reveal Full Edge Quick Lip Spray. And I named it Reveal Full Edge because when it reveals the lace, when you take it off, skirt, skirt, Reveal. I'm not gonna do that because I just put it on. And I named it full edge because you're gonna have your edges gonna be full. They're gonna stay full when you use this spray. I don't care if you get glue on your hair, it don't matter. This this quick lip spray is gonna protect your edges in your hairline, your skin, and all your edges gonna be there, sis. So stop trying to just shampoo your shit out or pull it out. Don't don't do that. This this you can change your hairstyle every day and, and, and glue a new frontal every day. With this quick um quick little spray if you want to and you're gonna protect your your edges so now i'm just spraying it on a q-tip spraying it on the q-tip so i can get this shit out my scalp bam gone see right here Bam, gone. Okay, one more. I got one over here somewhere. And the lace of one. Right here. Gone. Just needs to try some more. And I, I even spray much, guys. I just sprayed on the Q-tip. The Q-tip the Q is not even saturated. Gone. Gone, though. But it's gone though. The glue is gone. So like, I don't have no more on my actual skin. But it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. So. <sighs> Mid party. Mid party. Mid party. And no, guys, the wig is not shedding. Please remember that I did cut some of the um, lace off by my earlobe. I'm plucking baby hairs as well. I always do like a, the right part. <laughs> I always do like the right part. I just feel like it goes good with me. First of all, let me show you guys this 13 by six. So you want to do a part straight down the middle. It comes all the way back. Six inches, guys. All the way back there. From your hairline all the way back here to your crown. Six inches. This hair is so silky. Super, super silky, guys. Super silky. Yes. Now my um, hot comb was already plugged up and it's been plugged up this whole time. I just want to lay this down, this part. And I have it like, okay. Oh yeah, this is at 430 degrees. So if y'all can see, this is at 430 degrees. So you can apply heat to this hair and it's not gonna melt nothing. As you can see, it's super duper good quality hair. So, and this side, I've been live for almost an hour. 
well, started recording for almost an hour, 51 minutes. And this flat iron, this hot comb has been on for, since before I started recording, actually, because I wanted it to be hot. I wasn't expecting for it to take a full hour to do this, but, I mean, you don't want to rush this process. Look at this. Ain't smoking. Ain't smoking or nothing. Like, it's just there. And this is a natural um, color wig. It's not a 1B, it's a natural brown color. I'm gonna go through and um, pluck the hairline to kind of customize it some more. Probably add a little light curl to it. So I don't really do a lot of straight hair. I don't do a lot of straight hair. I always like to add a little curl or something to it. I feel like my part can come over a little bit more too though. I feel that way. Let me see. This may be enough. Guys, I'm, I'm holding this 430 degree hot comb on my scalp and it is not smoking there at all. My hair is not burning. Look how light though. Look how light though, guys. B for beauty booth. Now I'm going to do a look and come back and post it for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. I'm definitely have a nice curl to this. I think it'd be cute. And once again, this is 150 density. 13 by 6. Nice, silky, smooth, straight hair i will be adding full laces to the site probably like another two or three weeks or so because i have a lot of inventory to add to the site guys like talk about becky with the good hair ty with the good hair the beauty booth with the good hair so you guys be sure to check out our products it just won't like she look uh, <laughs> be sure to check out www.wdbooth.com and for our lace base the skin protector the um, unreveal lace adhesive extreme hold as you guys can tell not going nowhere my skin is moving it's not going nowhere and then i reveal full edge quick lip spray be sure to shop with us for your hair like y'all be sure to shop with us for your silky good hair that's gonna last you about three years you can wash it cut